What's up comic book fans, I'm Tommy from ZD Comics and today I got some DC Comics news for you. So it looks like Dan DiDio hinted towards the New 52 Crisis that we've been hearing about lately. So this has been hinted at several times. This is, like, I'm not surprised here. I mean, basically what they're trying to say is that in April 2015, with the, you know, 30th year anniversary of the original Crisis event and the 10 year anniversary of Infinite Crisis, or I think it's a Crisis on Infinite Earths, that supposedly they're going to be doing another crisis, which is weird because, come on, we just got the new 52. It's only three years old. Um, you know, a new crisis in April 2015, which would be the end of the Future's End, Earth 2's Worlds, and in the Batman Eternal comics, which are all three weeklies. And they're all really building. I mean, come on, Future's End is one of the biggest storylines in the new 52 by far. I mean, it's 52 comics big. It's a weekly comic and it also has... Earth 2 World's End, which is another weekly comics tied into it. So it's just one huge, ginormous, absolutely big-ass freaking event. I mean, at the end of it, if we were to get the Future's End, Earth 2 World's End, and all the tie-ins in one good comic, it would be worth like 200 bucks because it would be like an ominous, you know? So what I'm trying to say is maybe Earth Future's End is just building up to a bigger, huge event, which probably isn't going to evolve as much comics as the Future's End event. But could be a crisis in April 2015. So those are my thoughts on it. But let me explain what happened. So last Sunday night, Danny Dio said this. Definitely one of the highlights of my time at DC. But it gets me thinking. Has it really been almost 10 years since then? And maybe it's time to do one better. So I think this almost confirms it. Because why would he even say that, you know? And basically he said this on one of the, I think, editorials where he was like, Oh, we are counting down to Infinite Crisis. So he was talking about the previous crisis and he just comments on that saying, wow, it's been 10 years. Well, we should do it again. So my guess is that they're going to be doing this and it could be involving like pre-New 52 connects to the New 52, which is the stupidest freaking thing ever because that completely wastes the point. Maybe they're doing that because they realized that New 52 was sort of a flunk. I don't really know. I only got into comics at the start in the 52. I was never, I didn't live through the years of Infinite Crisis, unlike my uncle and everything. So, if you're older and you're watching this, what are your thoughts on this? Like, are you happy we're going to see another Crisis, or are you not happy? I mean, I read these comics, it's just, I haven't lived through what it was like to experience these Crisis, you know? So, when I'm 30 years old, I'm, I'm going to be proud to say, oh, I left, I lived through the new 52 Crisis. They're going to be like, wow. I heard that was a good story, so, you know, you never know. Anyway, I really don't know how to feel about a crisis. I, I'm going to go back and probably, I'm going to think I'm going to go back and read Infinite Crisis, because uh, I read it, like, so long ago, I don't remember what happened. So I'm going to read that and read Christ on Infinite Earths again, and maybe uh, I'll make a review on it. I really don't know, but what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on New, Cri uh, New 52 Crisis, and uh, what do you think that, you know, because that Dan Dandio said this, do you think that this almost confirms a crisis, or what are your thoughts on it? So anyway, I'm Tommy from ZD Comics, and you, you- Ready, aim, fire!